Welcome back to Hardcore. Today is a somber day. As of Saturday, October 21st, Stampy's lovely World Series will be ending. That, that's crazy. Um, a little bit about the origins of how I got in to YouTube, Minecraft YouTube as a whole. Uh, it was a long, long time ago. I was like six, five, six, so we're talking like ten, eleven years ago. And I was sitting, I was scrolling through YouTube as a young child does, unrestricted completely. Come on, crab, let's pick up crab for the day. And, um, when did I have an unbreaking three fishing rod? Oh. And uh, I saw a stampy longhead video. And let me just look it up briefly. It was... Episode Berry Berry 163 that I saw. So it was like nine years ago. Okay, I lied to you all. But I saw that video and my thought process was, well... There was this, so there's this f frozen food, or fro not frozen food, f frozen yogurt chain called Cherry Berry. And I ate there quite frequently back when it was open more. It's a lot of locations have closed nowadays, unfortunately. But I ate there a lot. I was like, that looks a lot like Cherry Berry. And I like Minecraft, so I'm going to watch this video. And that was like the very first thing that got me into Minecraft YouTube. That series. And that ice cream chain. And now they're both pretty much over. It's very sad. But today, I've, I really do want to keep working on the wall. Because I want to actually have a base. But I also really want to name Tag Crab. Because he's been here. And I feel bad just leaving him here unnamed Tag. So we're going to have a bit of a fishing episode, as boring as this might be. But yeah, I'm going to first, though, just plant a bunch of spruce trees. Also, I could get some good enchantments, though. And that's also nice. And I just realized if I want netherite, I'm gonna have to get the upgrade now. Come on, crab, get over here. So we're gonna empty our inventory. And we're gonna sleep. We're gonna go on our boat just because, well, we're not gonna go too far so we can keep all this area loaded. We can grow sugarcane and stuff. But we're gonna go on a boat just for the aesthetics of fishing. And yeah. There we go. Let's sleep real quick. You can't. Also, good morning, goat. Goat? Oh, there he is. It's kind of hard to see him sometimes. I'm swimming into the chest right now. Yeah. We should build um crab a little enclosure at some point, though. With, like, some cocoa beans. I have some cocoa beans, but I don't have any jungle wood. But, yeah. With some bamboo. Give him a little place, remind him of home. We are gonna have to relocate both of them at some point though, because I want a house somewhere around here eventually. Well, I'll build it somewhere within this wall. I don't have a very big wall, I didn't provide myself much space. Maybe I could put it like right here or something. But I don't need a lot of space, I just need a wall to keep me protected. I also might be making some changes to the wall. But, um, yeah. So come on, crab, get on my shoulder. Thank you. He actually listened. He doesn't do that often. Uh, I hate how birds hop out of your shoulder when you go down blocks. It's annoying. Let's also, uh, snag this, though. And I probably should get a cow farm, too, because we need leather. A lot of it, because I'm getting more and more sugar cane. But I don't have any leather to actually turn into books. I do see some horses over there, so I might go commit a bit of slaughter. Which is slightly worrying when you have a very vulnerable bird that might get hit, and I'm not sure, and I don't want to risk it. Let's just seat you down right there. As we slaughter horses. Blah. I got nothing. It was all it was all but a ruse, carab. Let's get back.
Boom, it's fishing time. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Go on, go on. Give me some goods. <laughs> Gunter. Why did you good my friends? Oh, I, I reeled it in too soon. Let's cast it out further. Kind of upsets me though when I cast it and don't get anything from it. Because uh, what you're going to get is determined when you cast it, not when the thing pops up. So... I could have gotten something really good those two times. Gunter. Gunter. Why did you go my fries? I gunted them and they were mine. What kind of goont goons is Gunter's fries? And doesn't even goon them in the eye. Gunter, there was tears there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like all the things I get up here, so if I get duplicates, I'll just go right there. Oh, look at crab! Do parrots show up on your shoulder in your inventory in Bedrock? My head's going through them. I'm not sure. But if I get any duplicates, so then if I get something new, it'll show up right in my hotbar, since I have- I put all the duplicate items in my inventory. Except for rotten flesh, because for some reason I just refuse to hold on to rotten flesh. It upsets me whenever it's in my inventory. I always get tricked in thinking the cod is a name tag. Gunter. How does Crab not get hit by the fishing rod? Wait, does he follow the direction I look? He does. Haha. <laughs> He's staring at you. Gunter! <laughs> I have that stuck in my head. It's from Adventure Time. Gunter, why did you gunt my fries? I gunted them, and they were mine. What kind of gunt goons is Gunter's fries? And doesn't even gunt him in the eye. Big cast. Never mind. That didn't go anywhere. Gunter, why did you go my fries? I go to them and they were mine. Oh, 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 oh. Aw, Salmon, I'm just not getting anything cool. At least give me something interesting. Even like a bowl I'll take. Some other boots, maybe. Oh, it's raining. That inc increases our luck, though. I don't know why I pulled that reel in. That upsets me greatly. So yeah, that's a little fact for you. Rain uh, increases your luck while fishing. Not by a whole ton, but by a bit. Gunter. Also, uh, important thing of notice, uh, in less than 24 hours, the mob vote opens. Whoa! Oh, it doesn't tell me the enchants. Oh, just from breaking three. I could still combine that. But, um, it opens at 11 p.m. 11 a.m. tomorrow, uh, central time, that is, so 12 a.m. p.m., 12 p.m., technically, uh, eastern time. I'm not sure if that is for all the different time zones. But, um, yeah. 
So keep that in mind. Uh, it's a server for it on Bedrock, or you can do it from the Minecraft launcher, I believe. But yeah, make sure to cast a vote. It's going to be a very close one this year. Very, very close one. I don't think the penguin has a chance, but somebody pointed out it, actually. So I've been getting a bunch of Ice King and Gunter stuff on TikTok. Because for some reason, Adventure Time has been getting really popular right now. As shows tend to do on TikTok, they get very popular again, and then they fade into obscurity. Like, they did that with Steven Universe, that's Young Sheldon, Family Guy, like a bunch of different ones. Young Sheldon was like the only non-animated one, I think. At least for me. But, um... Uh... So we pointed out that if we had Isolager and uh, Penguin, we could have had Gunter and Ice King. I've never actually seen Adventure Time. I've seen a handful of clips, but yeah. Eh. Gunter, why did you? I also seen a lot of why did Jake do that? Where it's like, whoa, Yahoo, apple pie. I don't need it all before you even get there! And he lets out, like, the most unholy demon-esque scream you ever did hear. It's edited, because it originally just goes, no, in, like, a mildly bummed voice, because, like, the face, like, looks like he's screaming. And so I'm guessing somebody just edited it, because it looked like the, re like the sound was a lot less pained than the reaction, facial reaction was. The scream was less pain than the face was. Is that what I said? I'm not sure. But it's like, <coughs> it's something akin to that. You're welcome for the impression. Actually, I could probably load it up and play it. I'm gonna do that once I get the next reel. Do it quickly. You should be able to hear it. Whoops. <laughs> Here it is. Come on over. I baked y'all an apple pie. Yeah! Apple pie! Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat it all before you even get there. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can't see that, but um well I guess I could I could make you guys see that. But I'm not going to. So hopefully you heard that. Otherwise I'll be sad. If you heard that, comment it in the comments. Say, yes, I heard that, and then hit the gritty. <laughs> I've also been seeing the oh, one song. It's like an edit, a Gen Alpha edit of some famous popular song. <laughs> it's it's funny. If you know what I'm talking about, you do. If you don't, you don't. You're so skibbity. <laughs> skibbity toilet, am I right? <laughs> What what is it? Where's it going? Why is it doing what it's doing? Get out of my face. Let's talk about buttered sausage. I'm getting nothing cool here. Watching the bobber intently. Bub blobber, bobbler, peach cobbler. Leather, I mean, it's... Hey, that's leather! I need leather! It's unique. It's different. It's what we need in this world. It's also pretty good for levels. I mean, it's not great, but... Oh, we got some spruce trees coming in. Gunter! The face when Gunter... Why did you gunt my fries? I gunted them and they were mine. I've just been informed that I'm gonna have to walk to everywhere tonight. I also forgot I have piano lessons. Whoa! Oh! I think I know where that's going. Also, it's getting dark, but I don't want the rain to stop. But it's probably not worth risking my life. Oh, yeah, so I'll have to 
practice being- I have to get myself supper. I can't get myself supper. I'm not built for getting myself supper. I'm not built to provide. Okay, we should build a dock for this boat. I guess you can't name tag boats like you can on bedrock though, which is a shame. Gunter. Whoa! Sit down, buddy. Ah! Down, you fiend and scoundrel! It's okay, buddy. We're safe. Let's sleep swiftly. Just checking how long I've been recording. Not long enough. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna have to move the enchantment table, which I'm not pleased about. We need more wood for it, but we gotta move it, so. At least we get the books back, it's just a matter of the wood. Should probably mine these, chop these down. It's just such a nuisance, too. This is why you don't plant mangrove trees. And then these don't even rot away, so you have to get them. Um... Do they rot away, actually? I don't know that. Maybe they do, and I'm just lying to everybody. I don't have a ton of experience with mangrove trees, now that I think about it. gonna use the mangrove wood in my wall but well I guess I could because the outside is kind of that brownish color should I should I incorporate these logs into the wall a little bit I think I shall let's just test one right here uh I'm less certain of it now just really dark, it doesn't it kinda looks just too dark, you know. The wall's gonna look really good though. Let's actually chop some of these trees down. We're in the teens for episodes now. Also, this is for sure the longest running series I've ever done, I think. Well, not for counting, ol counting old channel, in which case it's, um, was my first ever Minecraft series, which went for like 22 episodes, I think. You can check on my phone real quick. I still have, like, the videos unlisted. That's actually, yeah, that's a fun fact. So I have an old channel. It's not super hard to find. It's under the same name and everything. But, um, I've actually, like, put a playlist of um, Subnautica videos from, or streams, I guess they were, from back then uh, on a community post, which you can watch if you're ever aching for more Mouse Arts content, which I'm sure you are many a time every day. But, um, uh, there's, like, a whole bunch of videos. I'm talking, like, maybe almost 200 that are on that channel that are unlisted. And so they're, like, quote-unquote, like, they're like half like lost media. Like they're not technically lost media because I have access to them. I could upload them and stuff, and so do you guys. But like you know, well you have access to them if you like them or have some way to get to them if you have the link for them. But like I could totally just like randomly just bring back tons and tons of old mouse arts videos one day in the future if I felt like it. Like semi lost media. Well, 
Or I could do like a vote every so often. I can like pick three old videos and not tell you guys anything about it. Just have you randomly pick a on a poll between them. And whichever one wins gets re-uploaded on the channel. <laughs> that would actually be kind of fun. Let's make sure that these are all the right heights. Oh yeah, look at this wall. Whoops. Oh dang it, I thought it was going to be so cool there. And get this one. So we're just going to get the wood in place, I think, first. Whoa, hold up. This is not right. Oh wait, no, no it is. It is right. It is right. It just looks wrong from the inside because of how it's lined up with everything. And then we'll just turn this into... <laughs> I was like, what happened? I was so scared. Also, we'll have our beautiful walkway. Whoa, no! What's the real final goal of this series? Ender Dragon or finishing this wall? <laughs> What'll happen first? Well, I mean, it's not like we're making horrible progress on it. Alright, let's pick up crab and go fishing a little bit longer. So I really want to get this name tag. Bucket cloach. <laughs> I meant to say boat clutch. But my mind automatically went to like boat clutches, or er, boat clutch, but my mind automatically went to bucket clutches. But I still wanted to say boat, so I went boat cloach. I mixed bucket clutch and boat clutch. Bucket cloach. Somebody get that on a shirt, please. I need that on a shirt. Bucket cloach. <laughs> Just fishing in the rain. Not anymore, but I was once fishing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm hap hap happy again. What time do I have piano lessons again, isn't it? It's six. Oh, I only got like an hour till I have to leave for that, so I have to Oh. I hate busy nights. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. No worse feeling than getting home from school and realizing you still have like four more hours to do. I don't mind piano lessons, to be fair. It's just... I just want a free night, even though yesterday was basically a free night. I had like 40 minutes of church choir, but... Oh, I thought that was a name tag. I always get I always get caught off guard by the cod. It's annoying. I like it's so common to get, and every time I'm like, oh, is that it? And no, it's cod. 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 That was leather. I need leather. When I upgrade this to nether, right? Will the trim still be there? I hope so, because I think the white with the netherite would look really cool. Ah, every time. You know, a lot of people think that the netherite upgrade change was unnecessary. I think it was nice. I think it was a good thing to do. Because I do think netherite was a bit too easy to get. 
And also it makes Bastions a more crucial part and gives another more needed to be explored. Because you can just kind of get lucky and find a fortress like right off spawn and then you don't really have to spend much time in the nether. But it's a lot rarer to find both a Bastion and a nether uh, fortress at nether spawn. So it gives the nether just a little bit more life. I'm glad Mojang is trying to make the game more hard. Well, at least... At least on that front. They made diamonds way common. Way too common, honestly, in my opinion. But... Tis whatever. But maybe... I think it was more of a move to kind of make netherite more of the final goal. Because a lot of people just get diamonds and call it a day. Oh, more leather. But, um... Also, like, the villager changes and stuff. Ooh, it's going to be annoying, but I think it's perfectly fine. Villagers are way too OP. And while I think there's better ways to change it than just make them not as possible to farm, I still think it's better than the old system from a gameplay standpoint. Yes, it's better, more enjoyable sometimes to just be able to get it off the bat and more, less time consuming, but it, it makes more sense. But also it kind of, especially, it makes the game more playable from a normal mode perspective. I usually play a normal mode. Well, at least for a while I did, but recently I've been doing like, I say recently, but like for the past couple of years, I guess. But it's still been like kind of on and off between the two, but I've kind of been doing hard mode a little bit more. Because you get guaranteed villager zombies, you don't have to worry about the villagers dying, and so... Um, trading halls are, like, actually a possible thing. But, at the same time, trading halls are kind of OP, so we're like, we don't really need that, you know? But it's just because since it was available. But I really haven't had a lot of worlds over the years. I'm not the kind of person who does a lot of worlds. Like, I'll have one world, and that's, like, my main world for several months before I get a new one. pretty sure my personal realm is probably gonna be like the longest running world that I've like actively played. Well, there have been like dry spots where I haven't played that much. Um, like, like right now I'm playing a lot and so are my friends. Like we're kind of, it's a bit of a renaissance, if you will. But, um, yeah. And that'll be almost a year old soon. And it's just kind of a bummer because it's like, I kind of want something new, but at the same time, I don't want to. I I don't want to be done with that world yet. I don't think they do either. But it's just like, I just really struggle with that. What's the point of a world if you've beaten the world already? Because we've had the dragon gone for months now. We've had elytras and all that, and it's just like, if you have everything, what do you work towards? And I can build and stuff, but it doesn't. It's not that same feeling of working on like the beginning of the game. That is to say, I'm keeping it open, and I don't mind still having this one. I think one day we'll probably have a second one, but there's still a million things we can do on this one, and I think we're going to do probably just about all of them before it's done. Just because it's kind of nice to have like that quote-unquote main world that you just return to every once in a while. Of course, I think there's going to be a limit when it's not really possible to come back to, because we've done virtually everything, and we could always build more and do more, but it won't be worth it. Of course, like, I don't- I'm for sure not done with the world until my mega base is finished. If you've never seen that thing, it's a mammoth structure. I made it way bigger than I was expecting it to be, and it's not even, like, halfway done yet, but most of the work is drilling out the massive mountain I just had to build it on for some reason. Big mistake on my part, I know. Do not spend hours of time drilling holes. I was like, where's Crab at? I just saw him standing there judging me. You see him back there? Didn't give you long to see, but that's because I want to be able to get the fish when it shows up. See see him right there? I see no god up here other than me. Tears falling down. Wee. Wee. 
one, two, pandemonium, bah! Here I go again. So what are y'all predictions for 1.21? I see a lot of people speculating the end update, and that excites me a lot. But I really want Mojang to do what they want. I don't want another cave and cliff situation where really just look at it and it's like, everybody wants the cave update, time for a cave update. And then they end up kind of trying to work too hard and not quite hitting their goals and stuff, and it just doesn't turn out well. What I want again is 1.16 level stuff, the nether update. They so badly wanted to update the nether, and they got to it, and they were able to just hit all of- OH NAUTILUS SHELL! I LOVE NAUTILUS SHELLS! They're like my favorite item in this game. But, um, they were able to, like, do so much, and they were able to take the nether from just that one place you gotta go for that little bit of time to, like, this just amazingly thought out and progressed place. But also, what excites me about an end update is that means more post game content if you consider the ender dragon the end of the game it adds like definitively more progression no matter what you can't update back to back wow was that back to back or was the run in between but you cannot add stuff to the end without adding more progression by definition because the end is after the ender dragon so you're adding more progression i've one thing that i've always wanted to see that I think would be cool is like for them to uh, so you have to like take the end egg and you have to like bring it to this laboratory deep in like the end islands and you can get like a map and for it if you please or you can just search for it and you can fly around once you get the elytra and you find it and you can use it to open up like the deep end or something like that and get like deeper to the end and like have another boss there or something because I think that- Whoa, that one just flew over my head completely. I think that alone would add so much to Minecraft worlds. Because that, as a whole, adds something to every single Minecraft world. That would kind of become a quote-unquote thing you gotta do before it's finished. You know? You don't have to do it, but like a lot of people, once you get to the end, they kind of just go quickly get what they need from it and come back. And you've kind of like explored all the definitive progression to the game at that point. Again, Minecraft isn't supposed to have an end, but it it does, if you think about it, as much as it sucks to admit. So, end update just makes me so excited. As long as they can, like, as long as they aren't going off of completely what the community is doing. I'm sure it's come up in discussion at some point. Like, somebody at Mojang has mentioned updating the end. Whether that's the next major one, but they are for sure in the talks about it. I don't think it's possible for them to not be. Because right now, the end is very similar to what the Nether was before the Nether update. And if they could do even a fraction of what they did to the Nether with the end, it would easily be, like, the coolest thing ever. You've seen those mods, I know you have, of, like... These vibrant blue grasses and trees and all these cool mobs all around the end. That would be awesome. And also, I think it's time for a big, a quote-unquote, a big update. Granted, I, unlike many others, believe that 1.20 was a pretty big update. But, like, a really big, really themed update would be nice. Again, that doesn't turn out like Caves and Cliffs did. Because what they used to do in the past is, like, they'd kind of do, like, a big update. Well, they only did this for a little bit. But at least it was a pattern that I kind of liked to see, where they did a big update, then a small update, and then a big update. Which we kind of saw with 1.14, revamping villagers, and adding pillagers and all that. And then we got 1.15, which was smaller with the bees and stuff. And then we got 1.16 with all the big stuff. And they kind of accidentally ended up continuing that with 1.17, which was a very lackluster time in Mojang's past. Which, it still it still bums me out to this day. Because I remember Minecraft Live 2020, seeing all this stuff get announced, being like, this is the coolest thing ever. And that just kind of fell apart. Just kind of fell apart. Everything got separated from one. Had 1.17 been what it was supposed to be, ooh, that would have been amazing. Because keep in mind, 1.17 was originally supposed to be all the new generation, amethyst, copper... Uh, bundles, which we still don't have. It would have been the Deep Dark, originally. 
like all that together. It would have been really cool, but I understand the reasonings and stuff. I just, I'm, I just mean like, had it been what it was going to be, would have been great. But I think the big update, small update, big update system was kind of cool. Even though I don't even think that was an intentional thing they did. I think it was just kind of what happened, but that would be nice. But I just, oh, I want an end update so bad. It'd be so cool. I also think that pretty soon we're getting a new dimension, a new boss. If not 1.21, something beyond that. Which I don't think we're getting a new boss or dimension to 1.21 as much as I'd like there to be. Oh, one moment. Alright, I'm back. What was I even talking about? I don't know. But we are going to end this episode soon, because this is coming a long one. Oh, it's just like, oh, what's that? It was nothing. I don't remember what I was talking about. I was talking something about the updates, but yeah. So we're going to sleep and we're going to end this one here. Okay, we're gonna end it here because I gotta go. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, do the subscribe thing, and I'll see you tomorrow.
Goodbye. Also, how do my how do my anvil get that damaged? Oh my goodness. What did I do?